Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the 56th tutorial in the series of tutorials on Unix shell scripting. In this tutorial, we are going to do something interesting for a change and we are going to build a script that will check every minute whether a user has logged in or not. And uh, it will also report whenever the user logs in along with the time that the user was late in logging in, right? So we have to cover a lot of ground so I won't waste any time and uh, I'll bring up my editor and I've saved this file in the home folder. It's called check and has the extension sh. So the first thing that we'll have to do in the script is we'll have to ask the user of the script to provide us the username of the user for which the script is supposed to wait, right? So that I'm gonna do by typing echo on line one and uh, the message that we will display is uh, enter username, right? And uh, on the next line, I'll type in read and store the input in a variable called log name. And next, I'm gonna declare a variable called time and I'm gonna give it the value zero. And this I'm doing because I want the script to start with the assumption that the user has already logged in, right? So if that's the case, then obviously we can't say that the user, you know, is late by any time at all. And uh, even if we are going to display a message in such a case, we are just going to say that the user was zero minutes late in logging in, right? So that's why I've uh, initialized it, you know, with the value zero. And next, I'm gonna type in two keywords, while and then true. Now, this is different, you know, in this course, whenever we've used the while loop, we've always put a test condition after the keyword while, but this time I've typed in the keyword true here, and that's because I want while to do whatever's going to be there in its body for as long as, uh, you know, it does not encounter either the exit statement or the break statement, right? So this you do when you, are sure that you are going to use some sort of uh, termination statement in the body of the loop. And uh, if you do not use exit or break, and if you, you know, uh, replace a test condition with the keyword true, then while will just keep on executing. And, you know, that sort of loop is known as infinite loop. And, uh, you know, that's something that we'll discuss probably later. But uh, in order to get inside the body of the while loop, I'll have to type in the keyword do, and that goes on line seven. And next, I'm going to type in who, because who is going to tell me the users that have already logged in in the system, right? So the output of who will become the input of grep, because we are going to use grep to check whether the username, sorry, whether the user whose username is uh, stored in the variable log name is uh, to be found in the output of who or not, right? So grep space dollar log name. And uh, since this is going to be a string, I'm going to put in put it within double quotes. And since I do not want grep to show unnecessary lines of text on screen if the pattern was found, I'm gonna redirect the output of, uh, you know, the grep operation to a file in the DEV directory and the file is called null, right? So this will uh, avoid the unnecessary printing of text on screen. Now I'm gonna use if to check the exit status of the operation on line eight. And if the exit status is zero, that means that grep could find the uh, user in the output of who. And if the exit status is one, then that means that, you know, the user hasn't logged in yet. So we are going to check the exit status by typing in dollar question mark hyphen EQ zero. And that's gonna be the test condition for the if block. And uh, in order to get inside the body of the if block, I'll type in the keyword then. And I'm going to use echo to display a message uh, dollar log name has logged in. All right. And uh, we will also have to display the time that the user took in logging in. And uh, that we should do only if the time is not equal to zero, right? Because it doesn't really make much sense if we, you know, display a message like the user was zero minutes late in logging in, you know, only if uh, the time has some other value like two minutes or three minutes, or let's say, you know, 70 minutes, it makes sense to display, you know, the time. So I'm gonna check for the value of time by typing in another if statement. And the test condition for this one is gonna be while, uh, sorry, if dollar time is not equal to zero, then we'll, uh, you know, display a message using echo that dollar log name was dollar time minutes late in logging in. All right. And uh, 
Well, we'll uh, terminate the inner if block by typing in the keyword fi. And after we've done this, that is after we've uh, displayed uh, the message that the user has logged in and after we've displayed the time, we obviously do not want the script to do anything else. So that's why I'm gonna type in the keyword exit and this exit statement is going to be a part of the outer if. And uh, well, we are done with the you know if block of the outer if block. Now we have to type in the statements for the else block. And uh, the first thing that we are gonna do in else is we are going to increment the time variable. And uh, this is because if this entire thing does not execute, that is if the exit status of this command on line eight is one, then the loop will, then the else block will execute. And uh, you know, this is where we have to increment the time variable because for the next iteration, we do not want the value of time to be zero. We want it to be one, right? And uh, I hope you guys are getting the point that I'm trying to make here. And of course, I'm gonna use EXPR to increment the time variable. So dollar time, plus one and I'm gonna put this uh, expression within reverse quotes and uh, then since I want the loop to check for the user uh, 60 seconds later or a minute later I'm gonna type in the keyword sleep and then 60 right so the next thing that the loop is gonna do that is it's gonna check again whether log name could be found in the output of who you know, that's gonna be the next thing that the loop is gonna do and it's gonna do that after 60 seconds, right? So that's it. And now we can move out of the outer if block by typing in the keyword fi. And uh, well, next I just have to type in the keyword done because we are done with the script. I'll save the file and I'll bring up my terminal and I'll execute the script by typing in sh space check dot sh because that's the name of the file. And uh, when I press the enter key, the script asks me for a username. And uh, if you guys remember in the last tutorial, we created a user account and the username for that account was new user too. So that's the username with which I'm gonna check the script. And uh, when I press the enter key, you see that the cursor blinks on the next line and I you know, uh, don't have my prompt anymore. And uh, let's wait for a couple of minutes because I you know, want you guys to see uh, you know, some value for the time variable. And meanwhile, we can walk through the script again. The first thing that we did is on line one, we used echo to ask the user of the script to provide us a username. And then we stored the input in the variable log name. And then we declared an initialized a uh, variable called time and we gave the value zero. And then on line six, we have uh, two keywords while and true. And we have true here instead of a test condition because we want everything that's there between the do keyword and the done keyword to, you know, keep on executing as long as uh, you know the exit statement is not encountered, right? And um, on line eight, I have who, and who is gonna tell me the people who have already logged in. And uh, if the user uh, for which we are waiting, if uh, you know the user could be found in the output of who, then we are going to execute the if block. And if uh, he could not be found, then we're just going to increment our time variable and we are going to delay the execution of the next iteration of the loop by 60 seconds, right? And inside this if block, we are first using echo to display a message like the user has logged in and then we are checking for the value of the time variable. If the time variable is not equal to zero, only in that case, we are displaying a message uh, that, you know, the user was uh, daughter time minutes late and logging in and that's, you know, it's just gonna display the value of the time variable, the current value. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up another terminal window and I'm gonna use sudo login to log in with the, the new user to account. And when I press the enter key, I'm asked for my password. So I'll type in my password and then it asks me to type in the uh, username of the account with which I wanna log in and that's new user to. When I press the enter key, it asks me for the password for the account and uh, I'll type in the password. When I press the enter key, you see that I get a new prompt and uh, this prompt tells me that, you know, I've logged in with new user two. When I minimize this window, you see that I get the message new user two has logged in and uh, new user two was three minutes late in logging in, right? So it took us three minutes to open a new terminal window and then log in with the uh, other account. And, uh, you know, that's um, basically what I wanted to talk about in this uh, tutorial in the next uh, tutorial we are going to improve this script 
and uh, you know there's a lot that can be done with the script and uh, we're not going to learn any new technique but you know i'm just going to make the script you know uh, more efficient so see you guys in the next tutorial thank you so much for watching this one and please subscribe to my channel